Okay, quick update with the dual drone. Uh, gotta wait for some uh, another motor, actually another set of motors, then I'm gonna redo the bottom end because this one's bad. But these pushers with these props, I only need one of for this Breeze Model X type flying wing. And I happen to have all the parts for it. So we're gonna use the flight controller, not that flight controller, I have a, a wing, um, F405 wing that I'll use for that. And I have the carbon fiber rods and I have <laughs> basically the servos laying around and the connection rods and all that other good stuff. So while we're waiting for the motors for that and the batteries for that big old fan over there, my biggest fan, 340 millimeters of power with a 60 horsepower, 7070 flip sky motor. There's one here for the small fan. There's one there for the big fan. But we're going to focus on this one because I haven't done a flying wing that's this small. So it, it could go well. <laughs> I'm hoping the uh, wing will help me with self-leveling. And uh, we'll get the CG right. And I just happen to have a whole bunch of carbon fiber rods here. So I've got those already on hand for that. And I'm printing up the pieces now. And we're going to go with that. We're going to put that together so we have something to fly. I can mount that GoPro on it. I hope it's just not, the GoPro is not too heavy for it. But I am pushing this a little bit harder with a slightly more powerful motor than it's called for. But it is calling for that prop size. So we're going to see what happens when we get this one assembled. We're printing the parts right now um, in the interim while we're waiting for the rest of the parts for everything else. So, because uh, I want to get something in the air and fly it, <laughs> see how it does. Um, it'll help me with my iNav programming. So stick around for that one. That one's going to be fun. It is PETG. It's a little heavier, but that's why I'm using a motor that's a little bit more powerful than the one that they suggested. So stick around for that because that's going to be fun. And I have small 4S packs for that uh, down here so we can make sure that it isn't too heavy. So we can use an 850. Or we could use a 1500 because it's 4S. So um, just depending on the CG and how the weight balances out, that's what we're going for. So stick around for that. It's going to be fun. And eventually we'll get the rest of the parts I'm waiting for for everything else. So be looking for this one. I'll give you updates on it as I'm building it. Also, don't forget the live at 2 o'clock this afternoon, Pacific Standard Time.